What is the difference between the total number of players who play tennis and hockey together and the number of boys who play uh, cricket and football together? Okay, so it is again in this question it is easy to find out the total number of players who play tennis and hockey. Correct? So total number of players who play tennis and hockey is nothing but so you have 28 percentage here, 16 percentage here. So the total number of players who play tennis and hockey is equal to 28 plus uh, 16 that is 44 percentage. Correct? So for uh, you have again 5 to 5 0 into 44 by 100. Correct? So that will be the total number of players who play tennis and hockey. Now you have to find out the number of boys who play cricket and football. So what are the total number of persons who play cricket and football? See you have 36 and 12 that is 48 percentage. So this 5250 into 48 by 100 percentage of people uh, play cricket and football. How many girls play cricket and football? You have 2100 into, see it is 120, here you have 72, correct? So total degrees is nothing but 120 plus 72, that is 192, correct? Yeah, 192 divided by 360 because this is a circle and it, things are given in terms of degree here. Now to find the number of uh, boys who play cricket and football and the total number of people who play tennis and hockey, what should we do? You have to do 5250 into 44 by 100 minus 5250 into 48 by 100 minus the number of girls. Correct? The total people who play cricket and football minus the number of girls who play cricket and football. See, once you know this logic, right, you didn't write it in three steps here. Directly, you can write it here. Since I am explaining it to you step by step, I write it on top and then rewrite it here. Okay? 5250 by 100 into minus 4. Correct? That is again 4 percentage of 5250. We already found that out in the previous question. Correct? So again, see if this question is coming in the exam, these calculations you need to repeat again because you have already got the answer in the previous case as 210. Correct? Then you have plus uh, 2100 into 192 by 360. So that's all. This is the only calculation that you have to do. Correct? So this will turn out to be 11. 20. Okay, just check this should turn out to be 1120. So this will be 1120. This we got in the previous step as minus 210. Correct? 4 percentage of 5250 was 210. Again, if you have to calculate, I just told you the easy way to do it. So the answer that you get will be 910, which is not there in the options. So E. Now, next question is on pie chart. Okay, so study the following information carefully to answer the given questions. Percentage by distribution of players who play five different sports. So it is given the total players in one graph and total female players. So let us look at the first question. Yes, okay. Look at this question. Give me the answer. What is the sum of the number of boys who play cricket, hockey and the number of girls who play kabaddi? See, in these uh, data interpretation questions, actually um, the logic is very easy, but the key is uh, the way in which you do the calculations. So in such questions, only Speedmax uh, comes in really handy. If you use, uh, the, if you use uh, Speedmax techniques to you, uh, solve these calculations, right, or do these calculations, you will actually end up uh, doing the questions faster. Otherwise, the logic you will be able to very easily find out. See, uh, one thing that we might all miss out here is this. Whenever, see, there are given, they have given two pie charts. Here on top, they say total female players. So what we all tend to do is we tend to assume that this represents the total male players. But please check here it is given as total players. Lot of you might have missed that out. So that's a, uh, that's a probable mistake that you can make. It is given total players here and then total female players here. Okay. Now, what is the sum of the number of boys who play cricket, hockey and the number of girls who play kabaddi? Now, I know very easily I can find out the girls who play kabaddi. So, how many girls play kabaddi? Very easy, no? See, you have 2100 uh, girls. Out of that, 30%, 30 degrees, correct, represents uh, girls who play kabaddi. See, whenever you have a pie chart, the, it's a full circle, correct? So the full angle that is contained in the pie chart is 360 degree. So out of this 360 degree, 30 degrees is those who play kabaddi. So I can say that the number of girls who play kabaddi is nothing but uh, 2100 into 30 by 100. Okay, so that is the girls playing kabaddi. 
that is very easy to calculate now what is given in the question you have to find the number of boys who play cricket hockey and the number of girls who play kabaddi and you have to add the answer so how many first of all let us find out how many players uh, play cricket and hockey um, see you have 28 percentage of people who play hockey and 36 percentage of people who play cricket correct so put together uh, what is the percentage of people who play cricket and hockey 28 plus 36 correct that is 64 or i can say this 5250 correct into 64 by 100 represents the total people who play cricket and hockey correct now to get the number of boys who play cricket and hockey to this number i have to subtract the number of girls who play cricket and hockey that will give me the number of boys who play cricket and hockey so how many girls play cricket and hockey see here cricket is 120 degree hockey is 90 degree so 120 plus 90 that is 210 correct so 2100 into 2110 by 360 so this is 360 right i accidentally wrote it as 100 360 when you are considering a circle you always say in terms of 360 these many girls play cricket and hockey okay now uh, what, what should we do see to this total number you have to subtract this value and then to the answer that you get you have to add, add this value okay so how do we do it see you have five you can actually write it write down everything together okay five two five zero into sixty four by hundred minus i have to do this 2100 into 210 by 360 this is giving me the number of boys who play cricket and hockey to that i have to add the number of girls who play kabaddi correct so that is what is required now see here uh, what i would suggest is don't so start solving a step by step the best thing will be to uh, consider whatever is there write down everything in one step and then solve that will help us calculate faster okay see here when you take these two terms you have a 2100 is common again to solve this you can use the concept of uh, the split and merge technique right that we generally use for percentages see you have to find out 64 percentage of 5250 now what is 50 percentage of 5250 it is nothing but 5250 divided by 2 correct that is 2625 so 50 percentage is 2625 then to that you add 10 percentage 10 percentage is again what 525 correct of 5250 10 percentage is 525 then you have to find out 4 percentage of 5250 so what is one percentage of 5250 it is nothing but 52.5 so 52.5 into 4 will give you uh, 4 percentage of 5250 again if you take 52.5 you can further split it, split it as uh, 50 plus 2.5 correct so 50 into 4 plus 2.5 into 4 that is nothing but 200 plus 10 or 210 see all these you do it in your mind okay i am not writing it down you will have to do these calculations in your mind because very easy they are if you uh, practice this method of split and merge uh, you will be able to write that very fast so the num total number of people who play this uh, cricket and hockey will be the sum of these instead of uh, like instead of trying to uh, cancel out the terms here this would be faster okay so you get this as 3360 so this will be the total number of people who play cricket and hockey so what do you what do you, what should you do you have 3360 minus this 2100 into right uh, you take a minus outside means this will become 210 minus 30 divided by 360 correct so this will be 180 180 by 360 again this will get cancelled 1 by 2 so you have 3360 minus 1050 correct uh, 2100 by 2 is 1050 so your answer is 3360 minus 1050 that is 2310 option d okay so the answer here is 2310